Yes, my name is Ben Chan and welcome back to Star Made. We've got a brand new update that's just come out and it features this block here, the Power Auxiliary. Now you might be wondering, well this is a brand new power block that's been introduced, what does it do, what's the purpose of it, all these kinds of questions and hopefully in this video we can answer a couple of those. Now one of the big things that's been around for years has been docked reactors, basically docking another ship to your main ship and using things like the power supply beam and different logic setups and the such to basically use the power from that uh, docked ship to provide extra power to your main ship. This is all because of something called the power cap or the soft cap. Basically, what does it means is that at a certain size, the power regeneration for any ship is kind of capped off at about 2 million uh, power generation per second. Now, this is just kind of comes out of a whole heap of different reasons. Uh, you can check them out. Uh, Landcakes put a good post up in the news post regarding this update, uh, which goes into detail over all the maths and the, the reasons behind all these different things and basically goes over why uh, this block now exists. But the power auxiliary, let's get into what this block does. Now this block essentially is a power generator and a power capacitor all in one. But it also runs, con um, not contrary, parallel to the other power generation and capacity that exists on your ships. So that is why it's called the Power Auxiliary, because it runs as an auxiliary system to your other systems here on your ship. The best way to probably describe exactly what it does is to show you an example. So while we can really like our nice rotating glowy block here, we'll travel over here to a ship and we'll jump in and we'll have a look at what we need to do. So straight away, let's have a look over on the left hand side and you can see we've got our power and we've got our um, power capacity and you'd see we don't have any power blocks on this generating so it just naturally the ship core generates one E per second. Not a whole lot, it's just kind of been sitting here slowly gaining. Now, you'll see if I jump into flight mode, on the right hand side we have the power, but we also have auxiliary power also kind of highlighted there as a percentage. Now, you don't really get to see things until you start dropping the new block down. So we'll drop the power auxiliary block down next to our, and you'll see on the left hand side now we have a, a new line which has power generation happening uh, for that auxiliary, but it also has a capacity. So you'll see the power above 1E per second, it still hasn't changed from before. Now we have a power auxiliary line and it has two states. It has on and it has off. So currently this is off and it's generating 5.2E per second for a max capacity of 500. So if we jump into our flight mode here, you can see it's added another bar in next to our power and it's the power auxiliary going up. So you can see that capacity is going up slowly. What we can do is add a couple more if we want to see that go up more. And you'll see every time I add it, the auxiliary, the capacity of the auxiliary power also goes up. But not only that, the uh, we're now generating 15.2 E per second while it's off and we can generate a max of 76 E per second when it's on. Now, what the cool thing is, is that while that's generating, um, while it's off, we can actually go into our flight mode, we can hit G to bring up our um, dragging stuff, and we'll drag the power auxiliary option into our hotbar, and now that gives us the ability to actually toggle between those off and on states. So you remember over here we got off 15.2 E per second, on 76 E per second. And so if we click it down, what it will do is when it's on, it actually discharges all the power it has actually has uh, stored and it um, flushes all that into your primary power. So it's like giving you a big power boost to your primary power. And it also starts generating at that um, power per second, so 76 E per second, into your other power as well. So you'll see if we let it generate up to the top, and when we activate it, you'll see 
we discharge 1674.1 of our power at 76 E per second into our primary power. Now, our primary power capacity is 51, so we're not going to see much of a change, but we will see that discharge. So we'll click that now, and you can see it discharges, and you see our power generation is going up quite a bit. So it was, um, it's rebuilding up slowly, and now it's not going to be generating as much at all. So that gives us a couple different states where we're able to store a lot of power and then be able to discharge it to really boost our power regen. And you'll see that as we add blocks, that regen and everything increases. Now, one thing to note is that the regen is still less efficient than if we use our primary power reactors. So you'll see I dropped that in there and already we're generating 351 E per second. Um, way higher than what we do from this, our power auxiliary. But our power auxiliary is more for when you've, uh, you've uh, maxed out your power regen or you want to be able to store a secondary power. So if you're launching like a massive missile or something or another system that drains your power a lot and you want to be able to give it a quick boost back up, you know, this is one of those situations. Um, it's really handy and it actually works well if you group it into like big uh, into groups. Um, that's how it's designed to work rather than big long strings and, and the such. Basically, it's designed to work in a similar fashion to the way power or docked reactors were designed to work. Now, one other thing that's worth noting is uh, these are quite volatile. So the bigger the group, um, it can actually explode. So you want to make sure that uh, you're surrounding it, you're protecting it. Uh, even You could even layer armor in between it um, because it will kind of explode a bit over time if it gets uh, hit by anything. Uh, here at a smaller capacity, we won't really see that. Um, so we can go in here, swap into our normal mode. We've got a laser here, and you'll see if I shoot it. You know, it does take damage, but if it blows up, you can see there's a bit of an explosive damage. Um, little animation there, and you can see it is sort of, you see the highlights that it is saying that it's damaging more, but um, it only really damages the other blocks in the group. So that's why having it in uh, small groups, you know, is a benefit. But at the same time, it can also uh, cause a fair bit of damage as well. Doesn't seem to like me doing that. <laughs> if I place a warhead and maybe explode that, you can see it does a lot more damage as well. Um, because it also explodes as well. And this entire thing's overheating now. <laughs> All right, well, that is the power auxiliary block. As I said, there's a lot more details to the finer points about it, but it's designed to be a complementary or auxiliary system for your power for your much larger ships where you need to be able to have like separate capacity and then want to discharge and uh, recharge your main ship capacity uh, when you're using... Uh, heavier ship systems and power systems and but I think mostly give it a try see what you think um, obviously it's still going to be balanced a little bit as time goes on but this is a step forward into different ways that you can store power there'll be new other ways as well as we go forward no doubt um, other means so that'll be something to look forward to as well but until then my name is bench and thanks for watching